Okay, so we are going to unbox what we have here. This is a Chinese knockoff Nintendo NES Classic. So let's check it out. All right, so first we'll open the box, which is tight. There we go. Here's what's inside. As you can see, this looks very much like the uh, traditional Nintendo Classic NES. In fact, we can put the two side by side. And obviously, other than the controller ports, you can see that that looks uh, pretty much spot on of what they look like. Obviously, there's no HDMI output on the Chinese knockoff. Uh, different um, uh, USB port, different AV out. But, um, you know, again, it's got buttons. Controller it comes with. Let's take a look. Um, ooh, that feels very flimsy. Wow, that is uh, most certainly not an original Nintendo. But as you can see, you put the two side by side. Very close. But yeah, that is, uh, that, that just feels cheap. Um, power cord, AV cable, and we've got some instructions. So this was uh, at least had some production value put into it. And let's see, I believe, yeah, there's English, kind of. And let's see, here is a card that has the game list on it. So you can see there's a lot of games. Um, and let's see, it supposedly has 500 different games on it, so let's, uh, let's fire up, let's fire this sucker up and see, uh, see what we've got. All right, let's fire this thing up and see what happens. All right, so this looks like it is, oh, first of all, my controller does not seem to be working correctly, so let's try the other port. There we go. So yeah, this looks kind of like it's your standard uh, family clone multi-game cart, which the buttons are doing, you know, kind of going back and forth. So let's just try start. Yep, so this is definitely uh, typical Famicom games that we recognize. Let's try another one. Okay, so again, Contra, oh, so this is interesting, so now we hit Contra, we get a 12-in-1 menu, okay, so let's try this Contra, and that looks about right, let's see, Video quality for AV out is not terrible. Looks good. All right, so let's try another game here. All right, so let's just see how many, uh, yeah, so the, the B button seems to go back through the menu. Actually, no, the B button just seems to do, I can't even tell what this does. So it's like, first I'm at number one, then 491, then 444. Okay, so now that goes back to one. Yeah, so the A and B buttons just seem to, to randomly kind of go through the menu. Um, let's just see if we can get back to the beginning again and see what's on here. Okay, so again, this looks like your typical 501 family clone cart. Um, oh, this is very strange. Like even going left and right doesn't quite I oh, know. I think. I think it. You know what? I think it's just a bad controller. Wait, let's see. Yeah, the, the the controller is just super terrible. Like trying to hit uh, right and it's going up. Let me actually try the other controller and see if I have any better luck with that one. Okay, so let's try the second controller. See if this one works any better. And, yep, yeah, this one seems to be doing it. Okay, so let's see what we've got. 
Ninja Turtles Contra, Tiny Toon Adventures, let's see. Hey, licensed by Nintendo of America, I'm sure that's absolutely 100% correct. Like I said, the video quality looks okay. I mean, again, it's AV out, not HDMI. Definitely doesn't look as good as AVI or AV out from a you know a normal system. Okay, let's reset. Let's go. Oh yeah, no, this controller is kind of sucking. Also, Chippendale one, two, and three. I don't know what Chippendale three is. This does not look like any Chippendale game I know. Chippendale, destroy enemy's underground artillery base. Hmm. I am going to guess that this is not Nintendo licensed. Let's see. Yeah, these controllers are big pieces of crap. Ooh, Jungle Book. Wait, wait, wait. Anytime there's a game that I worked on, I gotta play it. Yay, I recognize this. Oh, it's just like being back at work again. Yeah, so really the overall feeling on this is uh, Chinese knockoff, NES uh, classic. I mean, pretty much this is just your typical 501. Uh, oh, another game I worked on. Um, ah, I can't get to these things. Yeah, the, the controllers are, are absolute big, huge pieces of crap. Like that, that at least is, uh, it would have almost made up for it if the controllers were somewhat decent. Um, controllers are just terrible. Probably some of, you know, and I've had other Chinese knockoff NES controllers before. Um, what the hell are some of these games? Dune War? Yeah, this is just some awful family clone crap. Let's see what else we can get in here. Sky Kids, Sanrio Carnival. I mean, it definitely has a lot of like very recognizable um, Famicom games. Cubert, Wonder Ball. Yeah, I can't get over just how shitty these controllers are. I feel like it, it looks like some of the games are repeating. Oh yeah, look, there's Cubert again. So there's Cubert at 329. I really, uh, yeah, these like try, I'm trying to press right on the controller, and it just keeps going up and down. Come on, right, right. But I think I got it in the groove. Yeah. So there's Cubert at 430. Dash Galaxy at 429. Let's see. There we go. Oh, yeah. So there's Qbert and Dash Galaxy again. So I, it looks like even some of these just keep repeating. So it's not even 500 games. It's just, I don't know how many games it is, but with a bunch of repeats. 
Again, very similar to other Famicom carts that I've seen. Yeah, this this we actually we found this right on eBay and uh, purchased it. I don't even want to say it was. I don't think it was even that much money. Let's see. Let's take a look at something like Pacland. Yep, this is the uh, this is the Famicom version. Go back and play one more thing, and we'll look at something like uh, how about Goonies. Oh yeah, no title screen on this one, but there it is. Not entirely sure I can give my recommendation for this. Yeah, the controllers are just. Not good. Ah, oh, come on, go. Yeah, controllers are not good at all. And I would just, if you're gonna pick up one of these multi carts, I think you can even get them on Amazon. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, I would uh, not recommend the Chinese knockoff Nintendo NES Classic. And that's it. I think, uh, thank you guys for watching.